that's uh, got the right specs on. Everybody happy? Okay. Right. Thank you. I welcome members to the second meeting in 2015 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee and as always ask members to switch off any mobile phones please. Agenda item one is an instrument subject to approval. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Scottish Landfill Tax Prescribed Landfill Site Activities Order 2014 SSI 2014 367. Is the committee content with this instrument please? Content. Okay. Agenda item two is instruments subject to affirmative procedure and no points have been raised by our legal advisers on the land and building transaction tax addition and modification of reliefs Scotland order 2015 draft. Is the committee content with this instrument please? Okay. Okay. Agenda item three is instruments subject to negative procedure Scottish tax tribunals eligibility for appointment regulations 2014 SSI 2014 355. Regulation 2.3.G refers to the Chartered Institute of Public Finance and Accountability when the correct reference should be to the Chartered Institute of Public Finance and Accountancy. Does the committee therefore agree to draw this instrument to the Parliament's attention under general reporting ground as there is an error in Regulation 2.3.G? Does the committee agree to call on the Scottish Government to correct this error by laying a further instrument? John. Essential because my understanding is that um, without this being changed, um, this will not have a any meaning in law, and therefore it's actually vitally important that it is changed. Thank you. Right, no points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Building Scotland Act. 2003 Charging Orders Regulations 2014 SSI 2014 369, nor on the Children, Performances and Activities Scotland Regulations 2014 SSI 2014 372, nor on the Designation of Nitrate vulner Vulnerable Zones Scotland Regulations 2014 SSI 2014 373, nor on the Sports Grounds and Sporting Events Designation Scotland Amendment Order 2014 SSI 2014 374, nor the Land and Building Transaction Tax Ancillary Provisions Scotland Order 2014 SSI 2014 376, nor on the Sea Fishing Points for Masters of Fishing Boats Scotland Regulations 2014 SSI 2014 379. Is the committee content with these instruments, please? Yeah. Okay. Uh, agenda item four is instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure and no points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Victims and Witnesses Scotland Act 2014 Commencement Number 3 and Transitional Provision Order 2014 SSI 2014-359, nor the Historic Environment Scotland Act 2014 Commencement Number 1 Order 2014 SSI 2014-368, nor the Revenue Scotland and Tax Powers Act 2014 Commencement Number 2 Order 2014 SSI 2014 370, nor on the Act of Sederant, Rules of the Court of Session and Sheriff Court Rules Amendment Number 3, Mutual Recognition of Protective Measures 2014 SSI 2014 371. However, the committee may wish to note that SSI 2014 368 does not observe the convention that two months should pass between an act of the Scottish Parliament gaining royal assent and its provisions being commenced. Whilst it's suggested that the committee could be content with the explanation provided by the Scottish Government in response to the question on the matter from our legal advisers, the committee may consider that it would have been more help useful for either the policy or the explanatory note to the instrument to have explained why the provisions are being commenced early. The committee may wish to recommend that should the issue arise again, it would be helpful if the government provided an explanation at the time the instrument was laid. Does the committee agree to do so, please? Yes. Is the committee otherwise content with these instruments? Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, that completes our agenda. Uh, and I close this meeting with the news that our next meeting will be next Tuesday. Thank you.